After the Waldo Canyon fire, it was a miracle the majority of Ute Pass was still intact. If you would have told me we weren't going to lose a structure, I wouldn't have believed you. The hard work of the Cascade Volunteer Fire Department is what kept those homes standing. But now, almost three years later, the burn scar serves as a reminder of the work that still needs to be done. We know that we're going to get hit, um, so it's just a matter of preparing for that, making sure we have evacuation plans in place, and that we can can protect the community to the best of our ability. They aren't paid to do it, but it's all the department thinks about. We do things every day that most people don't notice. I mean, we're here either at the station working, doing non-call stuff, we're training all the time. That's why many say these guys are heroes. We offer a, a free service to our community members. We'll come out and do a site assessment for them and help them with their mitigation uh, of, of their own property. On top of fire prevention, they have also gone after flooding. The chief was able to get funding from the state and other organizations to help with mitigation. We had public sandbagging events down here where volunteers would come down and help us sandbag. It's hard work that has gained the attention of Cascade. It's a small community. Um, we received over $100,000 in donations immediately after the fire. And even though many would have considered them heroes all along, the hometown hero title from the American Red Cross sure feels good. It's an honor that we're getting it, but whether we really deserve it or not, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it's, we're thankful, but um, almost everybody who dedicates their lives to the fire service, whether it's paid or volunteer, deserve this award too. In Colorado Springs, Tori Kay, Fox 21 News.